First of all, before we get rolling, um, Grace and Julia, congratulations. Great freaking party. This is incredible. Yeah. You know, I know everybody in here knows Graves is the smartest man in the room, but what y'all don't know is that his best friends know that he knows he's the smartest man in the room. But it's true, man. You are the smartest person in every room. Well, until Julia walks in and steals the show. And when Julia met Graves, my first question was, does he know what a weirdo you are? <laughs> and she said, I think so. When, after meeting Graves, I had to ask her, do you know what an introvert he is? <laughs> and that's how I know that the two of them are perfect. Because Julia took care of me and my little introvert nerdness. And Graves can take care of Julia and her little extrovert nerdness. And the two of them are just absolutely perfect. Friends and family, we are gathered in the sight of God and the presence of these witnesses. Miss Julia, however you want to do that. So when I first met Julia, she was like, hi, I'm Julia. What do you want to know? Like, let me tell you all about Atlanta. Let me tell you all about all these things. And it was a lot, but <laughs> as time went on, I came to love Julia because I grew out of my shell and I became the person I am. And Graves, I'm really glad you're an introvert because she needs somebody to even her out, to balance her out. And it's so great to know that she's found her perfect match in you. So congratulations, guys. Friends and family, we are gathered together in the sight of God and the presence of these witnesses to bless the marriage of Graves and Julia whose love for one another has been strengthened and enriched with every adventure they have encountered together over the last six years. Today, we set aside the workaday world, the ordinary and the routine. Today, we set aside the sensible and the practical in order to embrace the magical and the mystical union between husband and wife. Today we celebrate the beginning of a new adventure for Graves and Julia, known as Holy Matrimony. Graves, take a deep breath. Today is finally here. Now is the easy part, getting married. Out of all of the emotions I am feeling today, doubt is not one of them. I knew from the moment I met you that you aren't like most people. You are truly special, and I'm not just saying that because I'm your future wife. So Julia, you are everything that I have prayed for. You are intelligent, beautiful, loving, fun, and you make Graves so very happy, and that makes me so very, very happy. A lot of us can talk a long time about how brilliant Graves is, um, but I think we don't say enough um, what a truly loving, deeply feeling, caring person that Graves is. Julia, it has been effortless to invite you and, and welcome you into our family. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. quickly saw how perceptive and intelligent you are. You are the most interesting and well-traveled person I had ever known. Also, your ability to rock a pair of tailored pants certainly didn't hurt. I love that one minute you can be having a serious conversation about philosophy or geopolitics, and the next minute you can be flopping around like a fish out of water just to make me laugh. I love how deeply caring you are and your fierce love and loyalty for your friends and family. I've always said that I don't need a husband, but I want a partner. I'm so unbelievably lucky to have one as talented and supportive as you. Oh my God. <laughs> you look great. Now you look incredible. <laughs> love you. I love you. <laughs> oh man. Well, what do you think? Love it? Yeah, absolutely love it. Looks great on you. 
Julia. The poet John O'Donohue once said, In today's world, we so often mistake glamour for beauty, but glamour only shines for a very limited time, while beauty invites harmony and unity. Beauty fulfills the deepest needs of the soul, so that you'll feel at home in the world. Although we are about to marry in a glamorous ceremony, surrounded by family, friends, and loved ones, it is your beauty, both within and without, that I fell in love with six years ago. Graves, you're quiet, but you have sass in you, I've learned over the years. <laughs> you give it right back to me, <laughs> and I like it. Graves will hit you with some of the most positive and like reassuring comments you will ever hear in your whole life and you're like wow you know I'm okay and like that is something like I've always wanted you are definitely the brother I've never had and I inspire to have what you guys have and um, cheers to you guys and I'm so excited that you're a part of our family now so cheers <laughs> Julia, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. Julia, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Son and the Holy Spirit. Christ, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're my best friend. I love you so much. Now let's go kick off a lifetime of weirdness and adventures together, starting off with a great party with all of our favorite people. Love always, Julia. Our two families are coming together, and, and I think it would be an understatement to say we were just all thrilled these two have gotten together. Uh, for Lisa and I, it's just been an absolute treasure getting to know Graves over the years. And, and, and more than that, just the way he uh, treated uh, Julia and really just completed her. And I, I think that's, Julia does the same for Graves. So with that, I'd like to raise my glass and toast to Mr. and Mrs. Graves Etheridge. Love you. Dude, I know we give you grief about it. Don't ever lose that confident air. It makes you a better person. It makes all of us around you better people. Julia, I want to thank you for showing him up on a daily basis. Heck, you're even a better World of Warcraft player than he is. I want everybody to raise a glass to Mrs. and Mr. Graves Etheridge. Not only is Julia the most fearless person in the world, she is humble, she is persistent, she is driven. She is basically every good thing you could say about a person. And I just wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for being my idol, for being my teacher, my, basically my second mother, <laughs> um, my best friend. But most of all, I wanna thank you for being my big sister. And I'm so unbelievably proud and grateful to be able to call you my brother, Braves because you are truly an incredible person. So as you two go and dive into your new life and your new marriage with your old love, I just wanna leave you with one thing said many a time by the good old Matt Smith, Geronimo. <laughs> I love you guys. And Julia, I encourage you both, for every kiss, find a reason for another. For every smile, love the warmth in each other's eyes. For every moment, be thankful that there is more to come. And every single day, commit to loving each other more. Now, Graves, you may kiss your bride. present to you Mr. and Mrs. Graves Etheridge. I 
am so in love with who you were, who you are, and who you are continually becoming. I know that wherever we go in the coming years, you will always make me feel at home in the world. Love, Graves.